Hey guys. Today our topic is. Types of cost estimates. So move toward our today's topic. Stay with us. What is cost estimates? An estimate is a method. For calculating the quantities of various work items. And the cost anticipated to be associated with them. The projected cost. Of the task. Is the sum of these approximations. Of the costs. That will be expended on it. A work's estimated cost. Is a reliable estimate of its. Actual cost. Whether constructing the bungalow. Multi-story building. Or superstructures. Selecting the best types of cost estimates. Is critical. A cost estimate. Is a projection of project expenses. That are often created. Before the projects is started. It is made. In a number of ways. Depending on the demands. Of the project. The building cost estimates. Can be determined either. Roughly without going into depth. Or in a precise manner. By considering each component individually. Types of cost estimates in project management. Preliminary cost estimate. Plinth area cost estimate. Cubic rate cost estimate. Approximate quantity method cost estimate. Detailed cost estimate. Cost estimation revised. Cost estimate supplementary. Estimate of annual repair costs. Service unit method. Cost comparison method. Preliminary cost estimate. The preliminary cost estimate. Is also known as. The abstract cost estimate. Approximate cost estimate. Or budget estimate. This estimate. Is often formed in the project's early phases. To determine an approximate cost. The appropriate sanctioning authority. Can use this assessment. To determine the administration sections. Financial situation. And policy. In a practical approach. Preliminary estimates. Are created by looking at the price of projects. Of a comparable nature. To understand the importance. And value of each significant piece of work. The estimated cost for each one. Is presented separately in this estimate. The costs of land. Roads. Electrification. Water supply. Each building's cost. Etc. are. Among the components of work. Plinth area cost estimate. These types of cost estimates. Are based on the building's plinth area. Which is the area surrounded. By exterior building measures. At the floor level. The construction sites. Plinth area rate. Is the pricing of a structure with equal specifications. In that region. By dividing the building's plinth area. By the plinth area rate. The estimated plinth area is derived. For instance. If a building in the same neighborhood. Has a plinth area rate of. 2000 per square meter. And we need an estimate. For a plinth area of 100 square meters. Our estimate for the plinth area is. Tulak. The plinth area. Does not include open spaces. Like courtyards. If the building. Has more than one story. An estimate of the plinth area is created independently. For each floor level. Cubic rate cost estimate. By dividing the plinth area. By the building's height. One may get the cube rate cost estimate. For a structure. Building height should be measured. From the ground up to the peak of the roof. It works well for multi-story structures. This types of cost estimation technique. Is more accurate. Than the plinth area technique. Based on the prices. Of nearby buildings of a comparable kind. The rate per cubic meter. Is taken into account. The foundation. Plinth. And parapet. Above the roof level are not considered. In this calculation. Approximate quantity method cost estimate. In the approximation amount method. Cost estimates types. The entire wall length. Of the construction is determined. And this length is multiplied. By the rate per running meter. To calculate the cost of the structure, the foundation, and superstructure rates per running meter, are established separately. When determining, the rate per running meter, for a foundation, factors including the cost of excavation, and brickwork up to the plant, are taken into account, while superstructure quantities, such as brickwork for walls, woodworking, finishing for the floors, etc. are, taken into consideration. While determining the rate per running meter. Detailed cost estimate. When the preliminary estimates. Have received approval from the appropriate administrative body. A detailed cost estimate is created. Measurements are made. On the quantity of each work item. And individual cost calculations. Are made for each one. According to the current practical rates. The prices of various things are given. And the estimated total cost is computed. The increase might be the. Consequence in the cost of supplies. Or transportation for instance. The following information. 
and documents should be included. In the detailed estimate, report, general requirements, specifications in detail, plans and drawings include floor plans, elevations, sectional views, and detailed drawings, designs, and computations for buildings, design of the slab, beams, and foundations, list of prices, cost estimation revised, when the initial sanctioned estimate, amount is surpassed by 5% or more, a revised types of cost estimates are created. For example, the increase may be the result of an unexpected rise, in the price of materials, or transportation. On the final page of the updated estimate, the revisions justification, should be stated. Cost estimate supplementary, a thorough estimate, known as a supplemental cost estimate, is created when more work is needed. While the initial project is still in process, the estimate sheet, should include the initial estimate's cost, as well as the final cost of the job which include any supplemental costs, that call for approval. Estimate of annual repair costs. These types of cost estimates, also known as the annual maintenance estimate, is created to determine the building's maintenance expenses, in order to maintain the structure safe. When creating an annual repair estimate, for a structure, simple repairs like painting, and whitewashing are taken into account. Service unit method. The most crucial component, of a structure, is identified as the service unit. In the service unit method, several service units make up the total framework, construction styles, and their service unit. Service unit method. When selecting a service unit from a comparable construction, the following aspects should be considered. A rise in land prices, modification in the pricing of certain commodities, a shift in the labor rate, modification to the construction specification. In situations when units are well established, this form of approximation is typically utilized cost comparison method this approach is appropriate for estimating the prototype structure for instance when the approximate cost of a prototype staff quarters railway station etc is needed the estimate for such a prototype work is generated by comparing the prior cost with the current market prices often by raising the prior cost on a percentage basis even in the middle of a conference such an estimate may be made quickly to estimate the current cost of building, relative to previously documented costs. However, professional knowledge is required. If you enjoyed our today's video, then like, and share, our today's video, and subscribe our channel.